Hey guys, it's the Sil. Welcome back to my channel. So I found out recently that um, Live Makeover is going to be released in the global servers very soon, and the global beta test is happening anytime now. <laughs> so I'm sure there will be a lot of you who are gonna be new to this game. Yeah, so I thought it would be a good time to release the second part of my beginner's guide. Yeah, <laughs> if you missed my first part, uh, do check out the video description below. There. I will include the link and in the video I have introduced um, I would say like 70% of the buttons they see on the interface here <laughs> yeah so do check that out first and so for today's video I'm gonna be focusing on design room home wardrobe and light and light chase yep so without further ado let's begin Alright, so this is the interface that you'll be greeted with when you enter Live Makeover. And on the bottom left, you'll see uh, the icon called the Design Room. And when you click on it, there are a couple of things going on. Now, the first one on the top right is um, the Fashion Studio. Now, this is just uh, a way for you to keep track of all the sets that you've collected in this game from either the story quest or from mind travel and other sets and you'll see like all these um circles the rainbow circles just mean that you have completed your dice for the set yeah and you will see that um, for some of my sets um my circle is doing gray which means i have not completed the dice as you craft all these items or collect them uh, you will always have the option to dye them and dyeing them <laughs> often requires a lot of um yeah a lot of energy so do try to keep in mind you know as to which sets you want to prioritize because you would definitely uh, run out of energy at some point yeah so the other um icon that you see is the clothing store now um <laughs> when i first started life makeover four months ago um I bought everything in this store and I believe most players who have been with me since the start have also done this because it is just the fastest way for you to acquire clothing at the very beginning yeah because it does come with you know clothes that you can get for you know just by using coins yeah so it's definitely um, a very accessible option if you want some clothes so definitely buy them all as soon as you can and uh, to be honest, I don't think they've actually updated the store since the beginning of this game. So I do hope that the game will um, update this in future. Yeah, and so that there'll be more, you know, clothes that you can get for nearly nothing. Yeah, but as of today, uh, four months in and yeah, we are still looking at the same clothes. Yeah, so do try to get them when you just entered um, this game. Now the third one is the decom bench. The decom bench is uh, where you will come to decompose all the duplicates um, that you have gotten from light tape. And sometimes you may get, you know, some items, um, for example, that you've already gotten before. So when you do, it will appear here. And all you have to do is just select all and decompose and they will be converted into uh, rewards that you can use to yeah basically redeem for different items and clothes from the decom store yeah so by default um the standard decom stores you'll find is this one the glittering decom and the starlight decom yeah and then there'll always be a limited decom for example the star decom yeah based on whatever uh, new light chase that's happening right now Alright, the next thing is the brand design studio. Now, this is where you can actually design your own clothes um, from scratch. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, I think this is one of the most exciting features of this game, um, at least at the start. Yeah, but um, the thing is, uh, okay, I'm not sure if it's going to apply to the global beta test as well, but for the Singaporean and Malaysian servers, currently, um, you're un unable to upload uh, or use your own custom stickers for your designs you can you know do shapes and like stickers and things and after that you can like save it um, but after you save it it will basically um, go into pending can you see here it says it's awaiting review <laughs> yeah and honestly 
Uh, for our server, these tickets have been pending review for four months at least. Yeah, so I feel like this is a feature they haven't really uh, developed to the fullest yet. Yeah, so just bear in mind that it might happen to you as well in your new servers. Um, so I wouldn't spend too much time on this feature as a beginner. Alright, the next feature is Reshape Work, which I have mentioned um, a little bit in part 1 of the beginner's guide. Yeah, so over here is where you can, you know, just change your body shape or your face shape and just customize it according to your liking. Uh, now, one thing I didn't mention before is that you can also actually import someone else's avatar uh, so that you can use it. Yeah, so for example, you just go to gallery on the top right. And then here you see like avatars created by all the other players and um, let's say you like uh, this girl's avatar, maybe um, this girl? Okay, let's say I like, I like this girl's avatar. So what I do is I just tap on import. Yep, and ta-da! <laughs> Suddenly I am using her avatar, yeah. And you can just save it um, as your own. Uh, alternatively, you can also you know, upload your own avatar and share it with other players. Alright, and finally, uh, you will see Fashion Diary at the bottom of uh, the screen. Now here is where you can upload all your custom uh, stylings. Yeah, so I think the fun part about Life Makeover is that over time, you will accumulate lots of clothing and you will come up with all kinds of um, outfits, you know, all kinds of looks that you can get just by putting different pieces together or by um, trying out all the different dye options. So for example, here I have, yeah, I shared all my, <laughs> my favorite looks. And I think um, some fun features will include, for example, if you want to stick it to the top, you can just tap on top at the bottom left. Yeah, so that it will be pinned to the top. Now, a common question I get from beginners is, how do I delete? Uh, my my entry. So all you have to do is just tap on the trash can at the top right of the corner. Can you see it? So you just come to the screen, look at the top right hand corner. There's a very faint looking trash can. Yeah, so you just tap on it. For example, if I tap on this and then it will tell me, uh, I, am I sure? Do I want to delete it? Then just confirm. Yeah, so there you go. And I think uh, recently they also updated it such that if you have already shared your uh, outfit of the day, you can also reshare it. Yeah, so you just basically go back to say this one. I just tap on it. If I like this one, I want to reshare it. I just tap on the share button again, and yeah, I can just choose the channel I want, and yeah, just share it with the world. <laughs> okay, so that was design room. Moving on to home. Now the home is um. To a lot of players, a really fun part of like makeover because it is basically something that you can do on the side. You know, apart from just clearing your dailies and collecting clothes, you can actually uh, buy or build a house of your dreams. So this is actually one of my favorite features in life makeover. And yeah, if you watch all my uh, other videos, you would know that. I'm on the mission <laughs> to collect a lot of beautiful homes. Yeah, so let me just um, share with you some of the features that you can get when you're in the home section. Okay, so uh, the first thing I want to mention is that there is a new um, feature, which is uh, letters. So if you tap on the envelope at the top of the screen, you'll see that yeah, there is suddenly a new inbox <laughs> and I'm actually very excited about this inbox because you know, you can get messages from your friends or even strangers who just pop by your house. So shout out to all my friends <laughs> uh, who have actually uh, given me all these gifts and likes. Um, I'm really happy <laughs> every day I just come in and you know, see who has given me something or um, yeah give me a like and you can also actually reply to the messages if you like yeah so uh, you can you know take a look at who has given you gifts well look at this hot pot <laughs> it looks so yummy yeah shout out to all my friends Nox, Ai, Kiku, Victorina, Chegg I love you so much Sierra, 
Riona, Lirin, they have given me so many gifts and I was really shocked actually. <laughs> so thank you so much. Yeah, and um, so here is where you can, you know, just interact with your friends. Now, the second thing you want to know is that there is, of course, a build button. Now, uh, I'm not really a builder in <laughs> Live Makeover, but there are a lot of talented players who have amazing homes that they have built from scratch. So I'm sure you'll get um, your chance to see them. Yeah, but I would say uh, the most important thing is just be careful of the demolish button because this is where they will prompt you that you will completely remove all your home and furniture. So make sure you don't tap on that unnecessarily. Yeah, and then below you will find all kinds of, you know, items that you can furnish your house with. Alright, the next button is the homey button. Now this is where you can basically just customize clothes for different um, purposes when you're at home. So for example, when you jump into your bed, you'll notice that your character actually automatically changes into a different set of clothes. And if you don't like what she's wearing, in the default setting, you can just come here and yeah, just change it into something else. Um, same for when you are interacting with um, gym equipment, <laughs> or you know, if you jump into a pool, yeah, or if you take a shower, it will just automatically change to all your uh, custom outfits. Okay, the next button is friends. So here is basically just uh, a list of people who have you know visited your. A home and I think the most useful tab is the last one historical yeah because this literally will show you <laughs> who has visited your home uh, and when they have done so so you know if you want to return the favor you can come here and then yeah just see who are your past visitors and just tap on visit to go into their home yeah and the best part about this game is that um, you not only can visit your friends from your same server but also from other servers. That makes the world of socializing even bigger. <laughs> okay, the next button is called services. Now here uh, you will see a couple of different things. Now the first one is called my properties. I think the game is trying to encourage players to be like a property tycoon. <laughs> so yeah, they will encourage you to own more properties and if you own uh, more, you will also unlock some uh, rewards for example you see here as of today i've collected eight properties so uh it includes you know different furniture some titles some avatar yeah and my next goal is to collect nine and ten so that i can get this uh carriage <laughs> and this ferris meal it's so cute yeah so that that's one thing and also when you collect different houses um, whenever you want to switch into different ones, you can also come here and just enter um, your house. Now remember that the last house you enter will be the house that all your visitors will uh, enter as well the next time they, they click on your home. Another thing to know is also that you cannot sell a house that you have already bought. The only way is to maybe downgrade to a small house so they can get back some chestnuts or simply upgrade to a bigger house for a discounted price. I have a tip for uh, you if you want to customize your welcome message because uh, this is something I get quite often from beginners. So all you have to do is just come to the screen, go to the home that you want to customize the message for, say this one, tap on this setting that says visit and ta-da! You can customize your home message. <laughs> By default it says welcome to my home but you know you can change it to like I don't know hey you are cute <laughs> or something yep yeah and then you can you know choose if you want this just for the current house or for it to appear in all your houses okay i'm not going to go through every single uh, button here i'm just going to talk about the the key ones because i think the rest are quite self expenditure yeah so a key one is definitely food here is where you do all your cooking <laughs> a lot of the time we spend in life makeover is related to eating and cooking um some people like it some people find it time consuming but i personally enjoy cooking yeah if you want to check your you know your cooking level you can just tap on this one and it will show you you know what is your latest um certificate that you have yeah, and these are all your recipes. 
you can have uh, main dishes, desserts, and drinks. Yeah, and one tip regarding collecting recipes is that you can do this by uh, either checking out bookshelves, uh, televisions, or your computers. Yeah, and there is one item that a lot of people get um, because for some reason I think it's easiest to get all the recipes you want, and that is the pink computer. With your uh, furniture listing, you'll see that this cherry colored desktop computer yeah, is what a lot of players use um, subsequently just to learn all the recipes. Yeah, everything you need can be found in this computer. <laughs> yeah. Alright, now gameplay preview is where you can actually check out what are some of the upcoming features in like Makeover. And currently, for the Singaporean and Malaysian servers, uh, we are looking forward to all these um, new features, which includes pets, a home garden, and home parties. Yep, and finally, garage kits. This is where you can redeem uh, all the dolls that you want to get by uh, simply playing the claw machine. Yeah, and getting these coupons. Yeah, that you can use to redeem them. All right, and finally, the last um, icon you can click on in the home section is the community icon. Now, when you first start out this game, the first uh, housing community that you enter is the Palm Island. But actually, the game will unlock more as you know time passes. So currently, for the Singaporean and Malaysian servers, we already have Forest Castle, and in future, we're gonna be having Utopian Paradise. Yeah, I'm super excited about this one because um, it looks like it's gonna be an amusement park. Yeah, very Disneyland. So. I'm very excited about this one. Yeah, so whenever you want to switch um, houses from different communities, you can just come here and yeah, just tap on enter. Okay, so other features in the home section include the photo icon whereby you can take photos when you're at your home and this is something you definitely find yourself doing because the home is such a beautiful setting for you to take lots of photos in. Now, uh, here is one tip. You can actually change um, the weather. Yeah, because you notice that the weather tends to change in my life makeover and sometimes you want it to be, uh, you know, maybe in the day or at night. So simply just tap on this clock on the left hand side. Yeah, and look, you can just change like your background. So it's really awesome and you can just customize it according to you know your liking um yeah and then you can just play around with like poses and like even do a dynamic pose <laughs> oh gosh i'm dancing again that's it for home let's check out the next one which is wardrobe now uh, here is uh the place where you probably spend the most time in because yeah here's where you can change your clothes and your makeup and your you know accessories everything that you need and want to customize your look for the day now i'm gonna just talk about a few things the first is the dyeing option so the three uh dyeing buttons that you see on the left hand side these are just previews as to what your item can look like in different colors yeah but uh you're not able to actually save uh, any new dyes <laughs> yeah so every time you dye it in one color uh and you change it to something else yeah it will just remain as the new one so you will always have to re-dye it to another color this is something i hope that makeover will change and you know allow us to save all our dyeing options okay so other things you can do when you're here is you can you know search for um your outfits based on style and by tag this is very useful when you are clearing your challenges in the game um and then you can also sort it according to whether it's something new that you have acquired or you know if it's high uh, rarity or low yeah other things include uh, i would say this eye on the left hand side if you tap on this eye all the buttons here will disappear and you know maybe it's something that you want to use if you want to take a photo finally the most important thing is this scene icon can you see this uh, it's like this picture that looks like a mountain and a sun yeah so tap on this here is where you can actually change the background for not just your wardrobe 
but also the main menu so for example now you see my wardrobe i'm using this blues studio but if i want to change it to something else i can so if i say i'm changing to dark chaser just confirm and ta -da, it will change <laughs> yeah according to whatever that you choose and um some of these you can get from limited packs from the mall when they are released or from different shops within the game yeah and if say you want to change your main menu you can also do that simply by choosing yeah what you like here for example for the main menu i'm currently using this sunset floor i use this one a lot because i just think that it matches with almost all my outfits yeah but if i feel like it i can definitely change it to say another one like this one and then if i go back to my main screen ta -da! now i have a new background <laughs> All right, so the next icon I want to talk about is the ally icon. Now, allies are super important in Life Makeover. <laughs> Not only because, you know, there are all these good-looking guys that we want to keep in our pockets, <laughs> but more importantly, they actually give you a lot of points when you um, do your endorsement queen, your fashion battles, and even just your normal story quests. So definitely, you want to collect good quality um allies of course ssrs are the best but they are also very expensive um i would say as a beginner you will probably start out with some r's which is fine but try not to spend too much resources into them because ultimately i think you will be able to access sr cards either uh you know with a bit of luck in light chase which is gacha or by simply crafting it so for example if you go to your mind travel you can actually um get srs when you complete the entire set the last thing is ally yeah you can actually make an sr card so there are definitely ways you can get it it's just that it will take time <laughs> yeah but if you're patient you know you're not so competitive then I would say don't worry you'll definitely be able to get your srs so in the meantime try to save your material uh, because um as of today there's no way to actually you know reset your allies to get back all your materials yeah so um just be mindful of that that whatever you invest in this ally is gonna be with him for a long time <laughs> yeah okay and finally the last thing we're gonna talk about today is light chase of course this is um the gacha there will always be um ongoing gachas that are always there for you to pull whenever you get your free chances or if you ever want to invest and then there will be limited ones that are only here for like say about two or three weeks so for example the ongoing ones will be beloved and essence as well as starlight show so you know if you're a free to play player um there will always be chances or the possibility that you you know over time when you have a free chance you perform it and who knows you may get lucky and get you know a six star dress yeah i've seen it happen with some of my free to play uh, friends in this game so definitely um i think the most important thing in this game is to be patient <laughs> be patient and you know you might get lucky you never know yeah and of course the very first one um it's always going to be a limited gacha yeah so currently in the game as of december 2022 uh, we have this gacha called night whispers yeah do check out my other gacha video if you're interested in uh um the results <laughs> as to what i pulled and how many tries i've done for this one yeah so the last thing i want to talk about is the call for help button on the top left you can call like a friend or maybe a guildmate to help you to pull for gacha yeah so you actually have to provide your own coupons okay your own materials but what i think um this feature is meant to do is basically <laughs> uh try to use someone else's luck i guess <clears throat> yeah if you believe in that so uh you know if you feel like you know your day is not going so well and you're not feeling very lucky you may want to <laughs> yeah just you know uh choose a friend to help you to pull and sometimes you may also get a request from others so feel free to say yes because actually you're not spending any of your own coupons yeah 
Alright, so I think that concludes today's video. Wow, it's been kind of long, right? <laughs> I hope that you have found it helpful in some way. Um, again, don't forget to check out my part one of the beginner's guide if you want to find out all about the other uh, buttons and features you can play around with in this game. Yeah, and if there is anything else that you want to learn more or if you want a more in-depth guide or in something else, say fashion battle, <laughs> let me know okay, in the comment section below and I'll definitely find time to create the video for you guys. Alright, so that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do give it a big like and a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye!